And when do you usually start playing Christmas music? I mean, if I do play it, like, you know, when I'm, when I'm mixing in the rotation, after Thanksgiving, because, like, you know, Black Friday is, like, the holiday and stuff. And then sure. you have from, like, after Thanksgiving to New Year's to after New Year's No, Eve. no, no. No. It's like, what the hell else are you gonna do? Like that week between Christmas and New Year's is a big week of just like, what the fuck are you gonna do? You just had Christmas. You're gonna just know you just, it all out. Exactly, exactly. Just had Christmas. We back. We black. Yes, we are black and back. Both East Coast natives living in California. Um, he's in LA. I'm in San Diego. Two somethings in a pot. If you came for serious shit, and if you came to be place buddy guy and we back we black act okay <laughs> i feel well, like i'm gonna have to find a new way to be like i'm gonna like say it, switch it up sometimes like we black or like we black or i don't know <laughs> i'll practice in the mirror yeah practice in the mirror bro not here <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yes, sir. Back again, black again, African Americans. Mm, bars. <laughs> Goddamn, how you been, bro? Oh, I've been good, man. So you know, I think this is kind of. I guess I have a lot to. We have been back. We been off for a little bit, but now we back in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I actually started a new job, a new new venture. Okay. I, um, uh, I, uh, I mean, I've been talking about this for a while, but it's the first time I said it on wax. And I'm so pretending like I'm surprised. It's all right. For the, for the peoples. Yes. You know. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, I stopped training because I was going through some stuff. I have I kind of, I wasn't as passionate as I was before about it, you know, and I kind of wanted to see what other things I can do. So, like, training, I always have training clients. Yeah, training clients, yeah. Training oh, okay. clients. Because okay. I still train myself, obviously. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not not going to be fit. But, <laughs> <laughs> can't be Don Jackson fit without the fit. Yeah, exactly. Actually, about about that. <laughs> But we'll, go, we'll get to that later. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good segue, though. That oh, was a good segue. But, uh, you know, uh, I left the fitness industry, uh, at least as for, like, my main thing, you know, because mm. I just didn't feel the same way as I did before. Like, I love my clients, love the people that I train, love the connections mm. that I made. But as far as, like, the industry as a whole, I was like, you know what? I want to see what else I can do. Yeah. So now I work at, a, like, a, a direct marketing company. So they do, like, it's like sales and marketing combined. So basically, like, it's like event kind of sales stuff. So I'm, like, selling... Whoever, whoever the client is, they we sell their campaign at like event booths kind of thing. So it's pretty Dope. cool working on my sales skills and like my personality, and it's it's kind of fun. So <laughs> live, <laughs> live and direct. Have, I'm having a good time doing that, man. How are you, bro? I'm good, man. I had a thought. I, was, I thought I'd be able to dodge the the vid. Um, I got it, but I didn't get it like I didn't get it like I should have got it. Let's just say like that. I got a little got a little ill, um, but I was out. And I had thought, in my, this whole time throughout COVID, I was like, damn, it'd be dope to work from home. Like, I heard about all these people working from home, and I wasn't working at the time. Then I finally got a job, went to the office. I was like, damn, this is dope. Like, I never, ever thought of myself being an office person. I mean, and it also depends on the office, of course, but, like, the mm-hmm. office I'm at is dope. So I'm there, and I'm feeling the vibe of my new job, being um, a loan officer. And mm. I got COVID. Say that shit, big facts. Oh boy, <laughs> I, got, I got fucking COVID and they sent my ass home, and I was like, uh, I was like, can I work still? They were like, not really. Uh, and then like literally twenty minutes later, they were like, yo, we got a computer for you. You got to come pick it up. You could work, but like it's gonna be different. I was like, no, nah, it'll be fine. I work from home. Like I'll be chill, comfortable. I'll be more like you know, comfortable on the phones. But that shit was trash. Mm-hmm. Never again. <laughs> Never again. So uh, I've been back for a couple of weeks and it's been uh, it's been awesome. It's definitely a struggle getting back into the flow of things, but um, it's been dope helping people out, helping people save money. Um, it's funny because I feel like uh, a lot of the people that I've been helping out just by chance are, have have been uh, people of color and veterans. Mm. That's like the two, and it's just like it's really whoever gets gets the call, you know, and whoever is willing to to work with us. So um, it's been dope, man. I feel like I'm I'm contributing actually, and it feels good to make money while doing that. You know, that's fucking dope, bro. That's fucking yes, sir. So now you got all the numbers in the hand. You like Ozzy fucking Ozzy loans, Ozzy, Ozzy bread. Like. <laughs> Ozzy bread. Nah, Ozzy bread's coming soon. Once I once I hit that that bonus, for sure. Fuck yeah. Uh, to bring yes, to bring back uh another interesting event that's happened over the past couple of weeks. As you said, uh, you can't be Dom Jackson fit without being fit. 
Well, actually, I'm not <laughs> Tom Jackson fan anymore. Nah, uh, somebody took your identity, yeah, my nigga. Literally got my identity stolen. My Instagram was hacked. And you wouldn't think that's a big, like, that sounds like a not a big sentence for, like, regular life. But, you know, when you, when you do enough stuff on social media and, like, some people only know you as the guy online, it's like, fuck, yeah. man. So somebody got Dude, that was... shit and, like, was asking you for cash app for a cousin that needs help. I'm getting, like, people call. I got called all day, bro. I was like, yo, you all right? <laughs> like, yo, what happened to your account? Yo, are you okay? Oh, like, no. I was getting my phone blown up. Like, I was like, damn. Like, I was like, oh, people actually like me. This is kind of cool. Niggas, niggas, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Dog, somebody, I had to be a hater, bro. They knew that was, like. Like a big part of your livelihood, like the your internet your internet um presence, they straight came for your jugular. They straight came straight came for it, man. I'm like, damn, like that's my reputation, that's my brand, you know, that's my like, no for real. That's my pod fucking content. What's, what's the protection against that? Do they have like a, a app for that or some shit? Nah, Niggas can't hack your shit. Nah, because the way he hacked it was like, it's, so it's my own fault. I'm a dumbass. Oh, it's my, I'm a oh. dumbass. Oh, oh. He, I didn't hear this part. He, he the the hacker hacked another person's account that I knew. Uh. Oh. I'll say it on whack. It was Brandon Pugh. B Pugh. <laughs> he he said it publicly online, so I'm gonna say his name because I was like, yo. Uh, I saw I, they, no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so he acted Brandon Pugh shit. Yeah, you know what happened? I got a DM from him. It's hey, his full ass name on it. I mean, he, like he said it on wax, and then he said it Shut on Twitter. So I was like, you know Shut what? Shout out Brandon Pugh. <laughs> Shout out Brandon Pugh. But um, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. I uh, I, I got a DM from 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 Brandon. And he was like, yo, man, uh, let me get your number. I need help with something. I was like, all right, cool. Like, I haven't talked to him in that long, so I don't know if his number changed. But, you know, it's still all love. So I was like, yeah, cool. Yeah. This, blah, blah, blah. He said, yo, send me the code. I just texted you. And I'm like, oh, oh cool. I, Like a dumbass. Shit. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Let me send you the code. Send me the code that I just texted you. Oh, so fucking it. dumb, bro. Damn it. So fucking dumb. So he, got, he got the code of my account. And he went through and just changed all my shit. So, like, it wasn't even like, like he hacked it. But he didn't like do it like do like a network kind of thing. Like he just went through my actual account like it was me, and basically like <laughs> he was like catfishing me through like oh bro, it was tragic. It was Wait, tragic. So that code he used that's that's actually smarter shit. Whoever did that shit. So he he was able to use that code. He basically to used like the, like, the, like the Facebook re, like the password reset. I sent him my password reset thing basically, and he oh just like stupid, dumb, dumb. Ah. It's the dumbest thing I ever. I deserve <laughs> I deserve everything that happened to me. I deserve it all. But I was like, right, so when you when you found out it was hacked, you knew right away. Like, oh, it was, it was that moment. Bro, cause, at this cause moment, I was, I was on my personal account when it happened, and it said you've been logged out of your account. Like in two seconds later, oh. I was like, wait, what, what happened? What? <laughs> You were on your account and that shit got, you were yeah, like, it told like, you that you, boom, goodbye. You scroll through it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was yeah. so Just imagine, like, it was like you walk in your house and your door just closed on your own face. Like, <laughs> dude. Oh, no, that's horrible. Oh, so I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was like that. That was so tragic, bro. Like, I literally put, like, somebody broke into my crib and just took, literally just walking around my body. Like, like Metaverse <laughs> down was just like, ah, man. Like, somebody was pretending to be me, but. Bro, at least they didn't do anything too malicious. Did it, did it, did niggas end up paying them? Some people actually gave him money too. So I'm like, uh At least some people care about that, you. That was cool to see. Like, oh, people actually would help me if I was in need, which I really appreciate. But like, fuck that, man. But maybe not now. Because maybe they're going to be Exactly. Like, so now it's like, if I didn't need it, like, oh, you lost, you lost your one shot, homie. That's it. That's it. <laughs> homie, you already got it. Nah, you'd have to actually record a video and be like, yo, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm on the streets. <laughs> Help me out. But the funny thing is that some That's people crazy. knew that it wasn't me even like, they could tell, like, I got a call from people like, yo, this doesn't even sound like you. Like, who the fuck is this? Or like, you would have texted me. But if it, if I was in yes. that gray area where like, you fucked with me, but like, didn't know me too, too yeah. well. It was like, mm, yeah. I don't know about could've this, Could have caught dog. you, yeah. Could have caught me. Nah, I, I saw it. I saw it and it was a, I saw a photo, like the little, whatever that little photo thing that pops up. He has to click on the photo. I was like, I ain't clicking on this shit. If Dom needed to send me a photo, he'll send me a photo through text. Like, he's not going to send me a photo through Instagram. He'll send me an a, a Instagram post, maybe to show me, a, like, a post of something dope. But you'd never send me a photo through Instagram. So, so I was like, I'm not clicking on it. <laughs> but I didn't know. I, it was, I didn't know you were hacked. I was just like, I was like, why is he sending me a photo through Instagram? <laughs> I'm not going to say. I, I literally was just like, yo, if Dom, if Dom sees that I never opened this, he's not going to be mad at me. <laughs> I'm glad you, is that, that's the exact same logic I would have used too. But we have enough. You know, we have enough. Like we know. We just know. <laughs> oh my god! But now I'm reborn. I'm reborn Back and again. rebranded as Dom Seven Four Seven. Why am I Seven Four Seven? It's actually just my favorite number. 
and it's kind of like my birthday because I'm born on seven four. But the last seven, just like I haven't figured out the last seven's four yet. But it just sounds cool. So I thought I thought it was because you knew about planes, and I thought it was because you thought you were a fly. I, we, go, we can go with that too, though. <laughs> Fly 747 fuck. airplanes. Cause I know that's the thing hey. too. 747 and like, yeah, that's when you go with yo. Cause, uh, cause go 747 back. airplanes. I'm fly Dom planes. I'm fly, I'm a Dom plane airplane Boeing. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, bro. That was really educational, <laughs> bro. So, heard about the Kanye Drake concert. Actually, no, you text me. You're like, yo, Kanye and Drake are gonna have a concert. And I was like, I saw that shit on Twitter, but I didn't believe it. Whatever, a week went by, um, and I am I'm on fucking Amazon Prime. Like I, I go to Amazon Prime. I come home from work. It's like I don't know eight thirty nine o'clock. I'm on Amazon Prime, and the first thing I see pop up in the banner is uh, "Watch This Live," and it was Kanye Drake concert. They had on like, Amazon, dude. I watched the whole. I, I was there, <laughs> like legit. All right, so I live downtown, right? And then the concert was I don't know maybe I don't know. From from where I'm at, bro, like if if there's no traffic at all, it might take me like ten, fifteen minutes to get there. Wow. If that. But there was mad traffic coming home and I was like, yo, what the fuck? Why is there so much traffic? Like there's never this much traffic at this time of night. And I got home, I go on Amazon Prime, and I see Kanye, Drake, free benefit concert for Larry Hoover. Watch now live. I was like, What? Live? So I tuned into that shit, of course, for the first like fifteen, twenty minutes, nothing was happening. And then the fucking choir comes out. Did you watch any of it? Oh, uh, nah, nah. Yet. Nah, dog. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those life experiences that are, like, legit. Like, I felt like I was there. Because I know where it's at, I, I was able to, like, put myself into that, like, that oh, place. Tell, tell me more. Tell me more. I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, bro. It was insane. So he brought out his, uh, he brought out his choir first. Um, he wasn't there. I mean, he wasn't, like, out on the, um, I can't even call it a stage because they, they came down from. I did see uh, the clips of what it looked like. And it's, like, a big, like, circle. Like, almost like a big, like. Yeah, so that's the stage. So, but it first, when it first started, they they came from. So it's a coliseum, and if people don't know about the coliseum, I'm like not exactly Roman sure. Ones, like the big ass fucking. Oh, you, we get, we have we can show it now too. Oh. We can show it now. Hold oh, on. Oh, we have that ability. If you guys have, if you guys have the audio version, we are now going to use screen share to show <laughs> what we are talking about. Uh, all right. So for the time being, I'll just I'll just I'll just show them this shit right here. Do, 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 do. Screen. screen, share. How do I do this? Entire screen? No. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, right. Sh- the uh, Coliseum. Kanye and Drake. Yay and Obs. Don't call that nigga Obs, bro. No, I can't call him Obs. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, that's, I might get in trouble. Here we go. Is Kanye singing Finding Love right now? Why is um why is he singing this part? Can you say my guy? Why was Kanye singing Find Your Love? Cause he produced that shit. <laughs> I know he produced it. But like if you at, if you're on stage with the guy who made the song and you produced it. was a, song, it was an old it was an ode to the man, them piecing it up. Oh got it, okay. I, was, I think I think it's a la- I wanna say it's the last song he performed before Drake came on. Okay. Got it. So, all right, so huh, let me let me rewind, rewind. Oh, yeah, rewind, rewind. Please, Am please. I still screen sharing? No, no, I can't see anything. Alright, cool. Did you see the screen before? Mm mm. Oh, that's ass. Oh shit! When he was when he was singing, no, I didn't see a goddamn thing. I saw you vibing, but I didn't see anything. I was trying to figure what happened. <laughs> Wait, so you didn't saw me vibing? <laughs> yeah, I saw you bobbing your head. I saw you bobbing your head. I thought I thought something was about to happen. I didn't know. <laughs> Wait, but you heard the music though, right? I heard the music, but I didn't see nothing. Like I'm looking uh, at okay. you, just like bobbing your head the whole time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it was about to load up. Like I didn't know you were already like. Oh uh, fuck! All right, hold on, let me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's what happens when you're somethings. Cause last time I was put off by itself. Uh, Have you seen that? Uh, here we go. Yeah, it just changed. I don't know what you did this time, but here it is. Find your love. I know this concert was free too. No, no, sorry. I think it was a um, free Larry Hoover benefit oh, concert, but it wasn't okay. a free concert. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes more sense. Just Look at that shit, bro. That's like a hey, giant movie. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
hey, 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 That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Kanye singing uh, Drake's song is a hilarious concept. It is hilarious. I think, all right, so I want to say it was, um, it's Drake, it's uh, Kanye and Alicia Keys produced that, that song. I think Alicia Keys is actually playing the keys on that song. Oh, shit. That's even more and I think Kanye, the Kanye does it. Yeah, I want to say that. Did you see Noah? You saw, you saw uh, Noah Shabib there? 40? I did not see. I, I haven't seen anything. Oh, the first only thing I saw was the clips on Instagram. So I haven't like really seen. All right. Seen anyway, you. back to the back. Motherfuckers, open up the concert. Uh, so at the Coliseum, there is um, there's like a torch mm-hmm. at the at the top of one of the ends of it, mm-hmm. and that torch is lit. And my girl, I didn't know this, but my girl said that like the last time she saw that torch lit was like like years years ago. Wow. So that already that already like just like complete blackness, and that shit lit was already like a moment. And then he had his con- he had his uh, choir come out and they sung a bunch of different songs, um, like in their own way. They sung that new Adele song in their own way. Fire! I was already I was already hooked. I was hooked. <laughs> and then you see the fucking smoke. Smoke comes out. Smoke comes out. The two legends walk through the fucking arc in the Coliseum and they walk down the fucking steps. Everybody loses their fucking the place. Eighty thousand people. Place is fucking lit. Everybody go crazy. House? Huh? Could you hear that from your house? No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> not that close. No, man, I wish. But in in the, in the house though, bro, on the TV, it was a concert. I was in here. Me and my girl was having a full ass concert here. Fucking smoke everywhere, and you see the stage, dope ass lights and shit. First fucking song, Kanye Kanye comes out with. He said, "Let's take it back to the beginning." Jesus walks. I'm gone. My brain's out of here. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. Couple more, a couple more songs. I'm in there, bro. I'm vibing, vibing. Touch the sky. I'm, I'm in another galaxy. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone, bro. Fucking flashing light. It's, it was, it was, bro. If I was there, I would, I legit would have cried. I almost wanted to cry. I was just like, damn, this man has brought himself through a lot of shit and been through a lot of shit. And to see him just there, like, damn, in his, in his mode, like for sure, for sure, it was crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then uh and then um Drake came out, Drake did his thing, it was great. Um and then they finished the the concert with um Forever. Moment. That's a fucking moment. That's yeah. a fucking moment. The one thing though, the whole entire time they didn't talk about <laughs> they had, I, don't, <laughs> I don't I don't remember. It was it was the, enough of their presence and shit being there was enough to bring uh awareness to it. Mm-hmm. But as far as, yeah, I don't think, I can't remember if, and maybe I'm wrong, but I can't remember if they even mentioned the man. Maybe there's yeah. some kind of legal shit they can't do or something like that. If it's like, the yeah, yeah. I don't know. I but mean, everybody is, was, everybody was wearing the, the merch, the Free Larry Hoover merch or Free Demand Them merch. That's amazing though. To be, for Larry yeah. Hoover too, to be in jail for that long and to have so small people working together to kind of help get you mm-hmm. out, man. Like, it just shows the power of, uh, you know, community and coming together. Yeah, I mean they shot it. They had a, they had a little moment, quick moments with about Virgil. Just you know, just lyrics that they they've had like that that from back when Virgil was was uh, around. Uh, recipes of Virgil. Recipes of oh, recipes of Virgil. Recipes. Yeah, icon, Virgil. icon, icon. Damn. That man came. That man came and uh, every. I mean, pretty much if you think about it, just like like behind the scenes of just dressing so many of the people that we look up to or. Or that have influenced um, both younger people and people our age, just culture in general. Like that man, he was like the orchestrator of that. You know, just like style. You know, he was. And it's yeah, it's crazy to think about. It. Like now, I'm I'm honestly just digesting it right now. Like damn, like didn't know much about him, but you knew enough about his work, as if that makes sense. Like you see, you seen it anywhere, but you only know that now. Looking back, it's like. It's like most other artists, right? Like the, you, res, you respect them more when they're gone because you they they're put on this uh, in the spotlight now. You made watch the Watch the Throne cover. You made a lot of I know that. You made the Watch I the did Throne not. They had a whole thing on Complex. I Fuck was like, the shit that he made, and I was like, oh my god, that's a fucking legend. Like I had no idea. 
I had no that's that's one of the hardest covers ever. Like ever. <laughs> it's crazy. Rest in peace to the man done, bro, but we're not gonna we're not gonna uh we're not gonna uh, mourn. We're not gonna do is celebrate. Celebrate life, celebrate success all the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now But yo, point being that shit was a moment seeing them two piece it up. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. I don't know even how they how they even got to the point of beefing or what the how what level of beef it was. But what we saw was that they didn't fuck with each other. And then to have two people at that scale, um, you know, come together for something for something dope was it was dope, man. It was fucking dope. Real dope. Moment in hip hop history, moment in history, moment in music history, just like moment we we ain't really getting that again. No, nah, that's what, that's and that's why I'm pissed that I didn't go because I I just I didn't know it was gonna be like that. I was just like, oh, it's just gonna be. I honestly thought it was gonna be like like madness, where it's to the point where I didn't want to be down there. Uh, it's like right around USC. I was like, I know that area and I know how wild it can get. I don't want to be over there. But as I'm watching the car, I'm like, why did I not? Why was I not there? I'm thinking about that too. I'm like, oh, I could have did that. <laughs> yeah, moment. But moment. tight though. Moment. I am gonna see Kanye his next fucking tour. I, Cause I missed the Yeezus tour, That's and I, first time I saw him. yeah, I can't. I'm never gonna live that down. I have to see Jay Z. I don't know when he does his fucking retirement tour or some shit. I will definitely see Donda. As well. Donda, I'm 100 percent doing. Whatever he goes to Donda, I'm definitely gonna go see too. So that's, that's coming. That's, 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 coming. that's a moment that they'll have to be seen and done. A For thousand sure. percent. A thou thou. You know what else is a thou thou? Why is A T? Why is A T? Damn, I don't even have some right now. What's going on? It's in there. It's in there, though. Use promo code TSIP, T-S-I-P, TSIP, for 10% off your first order. Drink your wise ape tea and join the yeah. tribe. We got we to gotta have we gotta have Joe on again. To, uh, last time we talked to him about crypto, but next time he comes on, we got to have him talk to us about the benefits of uh, not just tea in general, but his tea. Um, and, yeah. uh, you know, his, the origin story and all that, because that's a, it's a dope a, it's story. It's a dope story. It's a dope yeah. story, man. Yeah, Joe's the man. Joe's um, the man. We definitely got to have him on. We got to figure out how to get people on here, too, with the, with the video. News. Now we're a video oh, that's cast. Easy. That's how easy to, money, how to bro. get more homies in here. Yeah, we could do I think we do yes. I think we could do uh, at least four. You know, but... Uh, and, oh, yeah, then we have, we have all types of... Yeah, we have some great-ass shit coming out for you guys. Don't you worry about that. We could also live stream and chat if... Ooh. To when when that when that time comes, oh, we can't we can't have a chat going on. Oh, level up, level up, live stream on a bitch. Oh shit! <laughs> now another news, <laughs> NFT news. Your yeah. board ape yacht club featured on Jimmy Fallon. Dude, board ape yacht club is, I, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, why is it blowing up so fast, so Bro, quick? Today I saw they there is a some place in in Florida. I put it on my story. Uh, mm-hmm. They have board ape beers. Like they have an IPA that they have like the board ape, one of the apes on the can of the beer. Well, there we go. Yeah, man, they're out of here. They're, they're going. Here. I think if if unless like the next, I don't know like for all time, I don't know if someone might come out the blue, but between crypto punks and board ape, like the more I see board ape do execute, I'm like, it has more brand appeal than crypto punks. Like, yeah, I was about to say they're treating it like a brand more than just an NFT. Like Crypto Punks did it first, right? Like they, they, there always has to be that person, or that business, that company, that whoever, that pioneer. Crypto Punks was the first one to make it like big, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And we're talking. I mean, we're, I don't know how long. I mean, Crypto Punks might have been created. Was it 2017? I think 2017. We have All computers right. in front of us. We actually can find this shit out. We can't confine. Can't we can't. Blah, 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 we can't confine. <laughs> 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 uh, OG, oh, OG SpongeBob. Oh, OG SpongeBob. Oh no, that's SpongeBob, babe. Nah. Fucking bro, nah, man. Yeah, Body Ape Yacht Club. What is it? Like, if two, I don't know if it, if it's even been a year. Has it been a year? Has it been a year since they started developing it? But it being out, yeah, it hasn't been out that long. Yeah, it's under two years. I know that. I could I could say that confidently. It's been under two years, and the impact that that brand is i've seen i've seen like uh i don't know if the person that that owns this board ape um uh, commissioned the artist but i've seen a whole ass um what do you call it mural over here in downtown um on they the other side board of the ape mural um, i can almost guarantee the person that owns it either painted it themselves or they had somebody commission that board that board ape that they own 
to put it on the wall basically as a flex. Like, I own that one. <laughs> that's Damn, dope. Dog. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope, man. The fucking. They definitely I still couldn't, have more I, brand potential than anything else. I still couldn't. I, I'm not going to sit here. I still wouldn't be able to completely describe what an NFT is. But all I know is that it doesn't matter now. It, has, it, it literally doesn't matter. Now it's like, I just saw DJ Khaled say he just got his first one, right? It's, it's coming through, man. The culture is getting out what, more and more and more, bro. What would you say the estimated value of like a regular, regular guy, regular board ape would be? Like how much? How much is a board ape in in dollars? Let me check OpenSea right now. OpenSea. Oh, I can actually. Um, let me try to screen share. That? Let me let me let me do the screen share right now. Look at me being tech savvy. Ooh. Uh, so I think you have to share share tab. I think Chrome and then tab. Oh, yeah. Yes, Chrome. Are you using Chrome? Yes. Okay, cool. You're absolutely right. If you ain't, if, if you're using Chrome, no, let me stop. No, if you're using Chrome, you got to go. You Niggas do Safari, though. Do you see this uh, coming up up top? you see the thing coming? I, I don't, my guy. You don't see anything? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, what a woman, woman too. Yeah, what a woman is the open one. I actually heard about that one from Gary Vee, but they're not the one to talk about right now. They're, they're on the way up, too, though. They've been going up since. I've been watching them for a little bit for the past couple of months. They're up. killing it. Up, up. Up, up, up. See, Border Yacht Club is now. The floor price is 52 ETH. Oh, yeah, well, and ETH is at what four thousand right yeah, now? Four thousand right now, and depending on what time of the week. <laughs> oh you see this right here, this volume right here. Yeah, the volume is at like seven thousand right now, seven thousand three hundred and ten. Oh, and well, let me put my four. spectacles on. So, like, if you, if anybody's seeing right now, I'll, just, I'll show you a number. That number is it's seven thousand right now. So that's the amount of like trade transactions happening right now. I think it's been like a whatever the time in period ETH? is in ETH, in ETH, and that's how many transactions happen within that time period. So it's, uh, it's the second most traded one to open C. CryptoPunk is at uh, 12. But after Jimmy Fallon, I checked this, I checked this period, periodically. I was checking it every day. After Jimmy Fallon, that seven was at 22. There was 22,000 transactions woo. happening every fucking oh day gosh. from Board of Yacht Club. Whether people buying, selling, trading, that shit was going, abs- <laughs> no pun intended, but it was going absolutely bananas. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's describe the basic idea because I see the up, up top we got volume. Go back, my oh, guy. Oh, my bad. Sorry. What the fuck? Ah, uh, let's let me go back. Ah, <laughs> they either direct everybody's eardrums at that. <laughs> Sorry, let's oh, see. Fuck. No, it's all good. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. So we got up top. We got the collection. So that's all obviously what the 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 brand or the NFT is. Volume. Uh, Dom just described that twenty four hour percentage. Is that's, that that's how far it's been in the past twenty four hours? So like, if it's been oh, higher that's or like, lower. The amount of volume okay. traded in the past 24 hours. So so the number one thing that if anybody doesn't know about NFTs um, that I hear about a lot, what is what is uh, what would you describe a floor price to be of of, an, of, of, a, of a project? Oh, cool. So the floor price is the lowest price you can find it at. So like if they're OK, it's the lowest price, you the can lowest, find, the lowest. Yes. So that means. So, oh. Yeah. So that 52 is the <laughs> is what the cheapest one is. <laughs> so that's like the, so that's floor, the, the floor. Is there is there a ceiling if there's a floor? Oh, no, because no, the ceiling, because it can go up as high as it needs. Like, it can only go up as high as it can. I uh, sure. I uh, sure. Like, let me just click on it again. I'll show you right now. I'll click on Boy to Yacht Club. Four places, 52. 52 ETH. So, Fuck. Five point, there's only, out of the whole entire world, only 5.9 thousand people own. That's insane. insane. That is ridiculous. I just go to activity. You can see how many just sold. You can go right here. Like, this one right here sold for... This someone one sold eight hours ago for sixty five Ethereum. Holy shit! Hold on, I gotta do some math. Uh, yeah, so I'm not, I'm, this one I'm sold for ninety nine Ethereum for uh, three thousand ninety seven uh, and fourteen thousand dollars. So they have the math. Okay. I don't know if you can read it. Oh, they got the math. Oh, yeah. see, I'm doing fucking math. Nigga, don't be a. Hey, don't be making me do extra work if hey. you see. I mean, you the math guy now. <laughs> you math Aussie. I'm Ooh. bro. I got I got calculadores. A hundred, a hundred, a um, hundred ETH for four for uh. Oh my god, four hundred thousand dollars! Hey, bro, people, listen, motherfuckers will go buy fucking red bottoms because they like them, right? It's the same shit. Motherfuckers will go buy fucking Fendi, Gucci, Prada. Me, nada. Yes, yeah, soon come. Oh, we go. We got bars. That's a good flex, though. <laughs> but yeah, that fifty-two. When they say floor price, that means that's the cheapest one you will find. Damn. That means if you don't even got if oh my god, one sold for two hundred ETH. Bro, my thing is like they're not even 3D. Like, like you could you could flex them. You could flex them in the in the metaverse. 
and it's still gonna be like a thing. It's like having a like a painting's not 3D. A painting is flat as fuck. A real life yeah. painting. That shit is flat as fuck on the wall. It ain't 3D. Can't even you can't even you can't even take that shit with you and hold it or nah, it's staying wherever the fuck it's at. But um, but this this you could take wherever, right? Yeah, you can take these shits wherever. And I think I think the the real I think the other value of board ape is that the amount of uh, they do they're doing a lot more like it, real life shit. Yeah, so it's like a, it's almost like a country club. You're, like you hold mm. it to a country club as well. That's an expensive fucking ticket, bro. But it's it's just, it's like anything else. It's like it's also like status. It's it's communication. You communicating, you know, with the world about this is what I like and this is part of me. That's dope, bro. Yeah, it's that's dope, fucking man. dope. Woo. Jesus Christ, bro! Two hundred. Yeah. Oh my that's lord! I wish madness. I could have got one of these early. And then like they have the mutant apes, which is, like their little like. They have a, it's, like a, it's like another variation of them that's still with them, so you can get a mutant ape that's like ah. four for the price. And then there's a lot of other ape projects that are coming out that are not with them, so I don't know with other ones that are, like I don't know who's not them and who is them. But there's a lot. So of- is is there a um, is there like a verification? Uh, well, I guess it's the whole idea of it being on the blockchain, right? Yeah. So you like if you like you if somebody if you bought like a, a fake board ape, like niggas would know, right? Yeah, you, that's the whole reason the blockchain is the blockchain. Cause yeah, everything's open, and everything's verifiable, so you can't like buy a fake one. You can, and then flex it as a real one. Yeah, so, and just like oh, you can. You can just bring it to the next topic. Twitter's about to. Uh, so what people are doing is that. Uh, well, I mean, you could you could screenshot it and say you have one, obviously, but unless you have it in your actual wallet, you have no proof. That's the whole reason why NFTs. Facts. Are NFTs. But you can also people have been taking shit and put it as their like logo on Twitter, like their like API on Twitter. Which like yeah. so you can have the screenshot and like oh like I have it, um, but now Twitter is linking up people's uh, wallets to verify like how you would verify if you're actually you on the account. They now are verifying if you're NFT. You actually own the NFT that you have on your profile. So it's like oh man, it's about to be some shit. Yeah. So and Twitter, Damn. Twitter and Discord are probably the top NFT like platforms as far as like the communities and checking shit out on there. Do you do you think that? Damn, that's insane. I was going to say, do you think that, um, because some would say that, I wouldn't say Twitter was on the way out, but that Twitter's hype was kind of dying off a little bit just because of the other platforms popping up before before this whole NFT shit, crypto shit. Twitter was, I th- I'm listening. I, th- I think now that people are seeking uh, community and advice on shit, which is what Twitter kind of, you know, that's, I think that's what made Twitter, Twitter the best is that you can easily go on there and just like basically be talking in, in a room full of people by commenting on somebody's yep. uh, status. And it was fine to have like, you know, rapid fire statuses and, and rapid fire DMs and it's fine. Other platforms that wouldn't be acceptable. Like you're not going to do that shit on, you mean you might do that shit on Facebook, but it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a little less different. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter is more casual. So I feel like not, this is like, because of the, the people that this attracts is like definitely more like cat. It's not like, oh, well now it's going to become a thing where it's more like upper businessmen that are going to want to own this shit for their portfolios and shit. But it's it's like democratized uh, platform like Twitter. I feel like or anybody could say whatever the fuck. Well, to a certain degree, there's that there's standards and there's guidelines. But I think yeah, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think that be, that NFT, crypto, all this shit has kind of helped to boost uh, platforms like Discord and Twitter. And then vice like helping each other. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. There's definitely the, the communication of it's definitely like they, they, there had to be a new spot for communication. So like as they get more popular, more people want to hear about it. So it's like a cycle that keeps going over and over again. But you also know you know that Jack Dorsey left Twitter. I knew that he stepped. He left Twitter. He stepped down. Yeah, CEO. He stepped down as the CEO, but he didn't leave Twitter. Did he uh, leave Twitter. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's, let's confirm. Let's Jeff, confirm. Jeff, let's Jeff confirm. Bezos. Jeff Bezos stepped down, but he didn't leave. So yeah, I want to make that, sure that that gentleman did not leave at all, my friend. <laughs> that gentleman. gentleman is like a higher ranking thing. Yo, yeah. Do you just follow me? Do you just fucking follow me on on Instagram? Thirty six minutes ago. Yes, I did. Yo, this um, nigga's out of control. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, I just follow you. I just said the Dom Jackson experience just followed Ozzy. Oh, okay. It was my lone one. All right, all right, all right. I about to say. <laughs> I about to say, yo, don't get the fuck out of here. You see, the, this is why NFT. This is exactly why the NFTs are so important. Because <laughs> after having my account hacked, after this little follow change you just had, your digital you is yo. just as real as the real you. Yo, that's 
Facts. That's big facts, bro. That's like, big facts. You got to protect your shit. You do. You literally do. So let me see. Yo, speaking of that, do you have um, the two questions? Are you are you invested in any crypto? And if you do, if you are invested in crypto, do you have a, a cold storage wallet? Um, so I do. Inv- I have some, I have some Ethereum. Obviously, I have a lot of Ethereum at NFTs. I have a little Solana. Yeah. I have a little Doge. Uh, okay. I don't know what a cold or hot wallet is. I saw somebody tweet about that recently too. And I was like, "What the fuck does that even mean?" Yeah, I mean the basics. Uh, all I know is that like the so if if you if you have your crypto on a platform like Coinbase, uh, MetaMask, all that shit, it makes it a lot easier to um, buy and sell shit. Mm. But if it's something that you if it's like if it's if you're considering investing in it to the point where it's like whatever you consider it to be a good amount, um, and you just want to buy and hold it. Uh, I think it makes sense to put it onto a cold storage wallet because you own the keys on the platforms like MetaMask, Coinbase. You don't own the private keys, so if something happened to that that, that platform, platform itself, oh, you lose you lose your dollars. Oh, but on the cold storage, it's not like it's not like the crypto is on the. So it could be a USB, like the version I have is is like a USB. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like the the crypto's on the USB. It's the keys, like the private keys on the USB, so that. If you need to access it again, it's fine. Like you can, you, it's like you a, have it's the like hardware wallet. It's like a hardware wallet, basically. Cool. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's a, it's the same shit. Those are, it's the same name, different names for the same shit. Yeah, there's so yeah. much shit I'm learning in this crypto shit. So did you know that like, people talk about like, uh, people still talk about their friends that are IRL for in real life. Like, that's a real thing people use. Like my real life friends don't do this or like don't do that. IRL, it's like, it's real life, like <laughs> I know, I've heard of IRL, but they're using it in regular conversations. Yeah, like oh yeah, like I saw, I see mad tweets like oh my 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 friends IRL don't get NFTs like you guys do, like blah blah blah. And I'm like <laughs> holy shit, like we're at the point now where like you can talk about your real life friends to your digital friends, and like it just it just it kind of fucks your brain up because like they're definitely going to still your friends. Bro, I, like, I, every once in a while, people hit me up and ask me about NFTs. And I have, I've started to realize I don't know enough about it. And I want to be able to direct them to a person or a, a database or something where they can see shit. But oftentimes I just tell them, yo, just go on Twitter and like comment on something. And somebody like the community is dope. Yo, like they'll, yeah. they'll answer the question. Okay, let's go, <laughs> no problem. Yeah. But oh shit, you want to know about this? I got the answer. Mad people got answers. It's dope. Yeah, it's, it's dope. It's, it's, it's a great moment in time. I also learned yeah. about, uh, uh, Wambi, we all gonna make it. This is so much shit that like, Wambi, yeah, or Wam. That's a it's an acronym. Yeah, or Wambi. I don't know, I don't know how to say. It. I just I learned about it today, bro. Like I scroll through Twitter, and I just <laughs> find out shit. And this mad company is using like shit that like NFT community use, and they're like, oh, get the fuck out of here, Burger King. Like, don't tell us, <laughs> don't tell us, we all gonna make it. You fucking mass bastard. But it's just crazy that NFTs and the internet culture is taking over more and more. That metaverse, real life verse, alpha verse. Uh, we didn't, I don't think uh, last time we recorded, I don't think uh, we even spoke on it or if it even had came out yet. But um, oh no, we did. We spoke about Facebook changing the name to Meta. Yeah, we did. We did. Oh, uh, never mind. We did. Uh, never mind. Cancel. Cancel. Um, now I have another question for you, Ozzy. This is kind of yes. this is a little random. It's not NFT. Is when is the correct time to play Christmas music? What is your What is your opinion on that? All right, I officially decree today. This is a, this is a, this is this is to be put into law. Into law. All right? By Ozzy. I don't want to hear no motherfucking Christmas music before Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, I need a week to digest not only the food that I ate, but the moment of me just coming off of Thanksgiving and maybe shopping the day after. Probably not. Anyways, if it's December going on into Christmas, which is December 25th, and maybe, maybe December 26th, you can play a little bit of Christmas music. <laughs> maybe. But if you're playing Christmas music after the 26th, I don't want to fuck with you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to associate with you. Oh, well, you better fuck with me anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? Dom. I don't even know my own friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm like, all, right, so when do you, what, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. When did you start playing Christmas music? And when do you usually start playing Christmas music? I mean, if I do play it, like, you know... When I'm, when I'm mixing in the rotation after Thanksgiving, because like you know, Black Friday is like the holiday and stuff. And then sure. you have from like after Thanksgiving to New Year's to after New Year's. No, Eve. no, no. no. <laughs> like, what the hell else are you gonna do? Like that week between Christmas and New Year's is a big week of just like, what the fuck are you gonna do? You just had Christmas. You're just gonna just know you just, it all exactly, out. Exactly, exactly. Just had Christmas. <laughs> yes. 
But you wait that all year for this time. I, and it's the best time. And that's why it's the best time because it's so, it's like exclusive to that time right there. And yeah, keep it in this bubble. But that extra right. week is the last week of the year. So you might always just like, just throw a little Christmas on it. Just like. You the type of motherfucker to keep the Christmas lights on till next fucking Christmas. You keep, you know, you wouldn't take them down. You hang them up. <laughs> you, oh, you ain't saw, I have my tree until like May. So you know how, you know, you know how we give it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah. Uh. Nah, all right, all right. All right. Oh, uh, and, and some real shit. Christmas music is, is some of the best music. I don't know. That shit gets you in a good mood. But I, all right, this is where I come from. This is where, this is my my thought is that, and it's not it's not it's not like we have to you know be sensitive to everybody's feelings. But there's a lot of niggas that don't celebrate Christmas. That's fact. So so they have to go through that that one through twenty five of December and possibly a little bit before and after because the niggas like you, inconsiderate motherfuckers like you. <laughs> That <laughs> make them listen to this shit. They're like, "Fuck!" I just went. Jesus Christ! It's been twenty five days straight. Every commercial is a jingle jangle on a motherfucking <laughs> Santa Claus white man with a big ass fucking belly and beard and shit. Somehow fits down the chimney. No, I'll be mad you know as hell. I mean? If I didn't celebrate Christmas, I'll be mad as fuck. Like, what the fuck is this bullshit going on all the time? I'm saying, dog. That, I, I, I feel it. I'm on that. But that's, like, so, so that's what I'm saying. Think about them, bro. But enjoy no your shit from 1 through 25. Enjoy that shit. After 26, don't play that shit. They need, they, 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 we got to have, like, good holiday boundaries. I don't know. I know. That's the thing, though. It's just like... I mean, step... Uh, nah, so I was about to get into religion. But it's definitely a Catholic fucking holiday. And we know how the Catholics give it up. They basically run the shit. They do. They do. <laughs> Everything is based off Catholic. Just, just thoughts, processes, times, and whatnot. And we still, we still here. That's so I could just imagine not being within this like Christmas equals fair and having to listen to that shit all the time. But oh, you shit ain't for your, everybody. You have your brain fucked up. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, shit, this is like real life, but it also like kind of fucked me up too. So mm-hmm. I read. I was talking about that book I read by Ray Dalio, the the Changing World Order. It finally came out. Check Ray Dalio. Out. Ray Dalio, uh, legend, legend, icon. Talk about him a lot on the pod. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, basically his. A little more back. I talked about him enough that you guys kind of get an idea who he is. But um, his book came out. What he was saying was that uh, so some a lot of like the same way that kids you like you have your life cycle. You're a kid. You're an adult. You're a teenager. You're a young adult. Blah blah blah. Da, da, da. By the time mm-hmm. you're like eighty or hundred, like you know, like you lose you on the t- tail end of your shit. Like that's <laughs> that's like a pretty like I don't think anyone ever like oh man, someone made it to one thirty. Like that's not something we think about that often. So like there's a cycle to it sure. that ends up sure. has a beginning and has an end. That's true. He was saying that in his book, what he was studying from, you know, his years as, in, as a hedge fund investor around the world and trying to find the best investments where people put their money into in all markets from, because he works with people that are like the richest people in the world. So his whole brain yeah. is like, where can you put your money to be safe no matter what state the world is in? So he, what's, the, it's, what's the name of his company? Is it Blackstone uh, Bridge, or Blackwater? Bridge, Bridgewater. Bridge, Bridgewater. Bridgewater, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridgewater. The niggas own everything. Yeah. So what he was saying. He said the same way that humans have like our cycle of like life, empires have a cycle of life. And if you study like, if you study like the past five hundred years, you'll see the trends of like when things happen. And even if something didn't happen in your lifetime, like our lifetime, because our lives are maybe one to one to hundred if you're lucky, depending on who you are. There's still <laughs> big, there, there's still big things that happen that repeat themselves no matter what state you're, no matter what it is that like an empire will go Damn. through. And he was saying that with that same mindset, we are on a, the, like the, the U.S. empire is on that next spot. And depending on how things happen, we could be like on the tail end of whatever the U.S. empire is. <laughs> We're done for. And I was In like, conclusion. I was like, I was like uh, Mr. Dalio, uh, what the fuck is <laughs> nah, that mean? Not if, <laughs> nah, nah, not if we got something to say about it. Fuck that shit. Needs is powerful. Fuck that. Yeah. So, so basically, we're, we're Rome. And we're, and we're about to fall. Kind of, kind of. That's ex- that's basically what I got of it. That's that that was oh, it was the similar similar sense to what I got of it. And I was like, yeah, you have to read it more. But that's like the general principle of what the book is about. Him talking about his things and like he talks about it. How happened in China? And he was like, the Dutch had the, had it first. Then it was the British. Then it was us. And I was like, yeah. he thinks China is going to be next. But like, I do. I believe so as well. All signs are pointing there. Them niggas. I don't know what next right. means. I don't know what next means. I don't think they're gonna fucking take over over here. But they're going to dominate 
economically for sure for sure yeah, for sure i think i think for that sure. that's what he means more or less because i don't think he was saying that it's like the war is not really as much hopefully like yeah. there's no physical war but just like the the war of nah, like fuck oh that. like <laughs> we're not going to fight but like you know, when, as men, like, you know, you try to sun somebody, but, like, you don't got to, even if you don't fight somebody, you would sun somebody, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know better. You know what I mean? For like, sure. you know, you see somebody, sure. like, you know better. And I think, it's like, yo, if you keep point. fuck with us, if you keep fuck with us, we'll shut down, we'll shut down the uh, fucking operations over here. You're going to get all your fucking products from over here. Like, China could say that shit. Exactly. It could easily be like, but then I don't know what we have on them. I don't know. I don't know how this pops I, I don't know right. enough either, but I would say that Ray said, like, y'all niggas are getting old and rusty, so. <laughs> Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, U.S. We U.S. is y'all niggas. That's crazy. Yeah, old and rusty. <laughs> y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, that's, oh that's my crazy. god, I'm gonna cry. I, 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 he got that. Uh, he got that on audio, audio book. I got, audio, I got audio and visit and the physical. Yo, audio books. I think you're the one that put me on audio books. Audio books have changed. I, I'm able to digest so much more information. And like be like productive. It's amazing. Man, bro, it's like crack, bro. I'm just like your Audible sponsor us, niggas. Um, Audible, oh, scribed. Uh, Audible, please. No, you can say n words. No, you can say. I heard Kanye and Drake say a lot of n words the other night. That's true. They were, they were and they were live streaming 214 million houses. <laughs> 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 the whole lot of n words. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, yes, sir. Oh my God. Oh, oh bro. Anything else you want to tell the streets? Nah, just just to try. Yo, one thing I've learned in the past month at this new job is I never ever thought I'd be, I'd be the, I'd be a person that would um, be comfortable on the phone. But I had a moment yesterday on the phone, and I, I mean, I'm not, I can't say the man's name, but I, w- I was talking to the chief marketing officer of a person that is running a massive company in San Francisco. And he was so cool. He was so cool on the phone, bro. And But what hit me was, like, midway through the conversation, he was just like, it's like, damn, man. Like, he's like, I could tell you've been doing this for a while. And I was like, no. <laughs> I actually have it. He's like, I could tell I could tell that you're, like, good at your job and you're a good dude. And um, he said, like, the person that called him, basically, my person from that connects us, uh, actually, no, I can't. I, I might not be able to say that part. Anyways, point being is that he, he the the pipeline that he was sent through to get to me, um, he enjoyed the whole experience from top to bottom. And hearing it from a person that is his job is is to basically sell a sell a product. Um, he's he's in charge of teaching people how to sell a a, a very um, consumed product. And for him to say to me like like I can tell you're a good dude and that you're good at your job and that. Um, Honestly, like, I wasn't going to pick up this call, but, like, you got me hooked now. And uh, him giving me information that I need to take him through the full application. I was just like, damn, like, damn. just try shit. You never know, man. Like, and there's some days I'm just like, ah, well, this is an off day. And then, like, days like yesterday, I was just like, you know what? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I that I got out of my comfort zone of not wanting to talk to people or talk to strangers. Because it's helped me out to just, like, regular life. Like, being able to just... Be like more free, you know. So it's dope. It does, right? It's hella dope. Oh, it's yes. so dope. I, I, I love that, man. It's liberating, bro, for sure. That's fucking amazing. That's fucking amazing. Yeah. I, I agree with that too, man. I'm doing. I'm like doing more stuff too. So I, that thing yeah. that you just, I like feel it now too. I like oh, that. There's there's a, there's a lot of like bad shit that not not bad. There's a lot of uncomfortable shit that happens like sales type. Yeah, shit. rejection, bro. That's what sales sales is is ninety percent rejection, twenty percent. <laughs> or ten percent fucking you winning, you know. But it flips after a while. Like it becomes like, oh shit, now it's more like fifty fifty and then you just get better and better at it. But like that constant constant rejection, that's just part of sales, man. Like not everybody wants your shit. <laughs> I mean, like it's and that's just something I've learned. Yes. Yes. And it makes it like I said, this makes it easier to deal with just like life. It's like bro, I'm I'm getting told no all day. And then those couple of yeses can mean the difference between me you know, getting into a new place or getting a new car or, you know, investing into something that I wanted to invest into per day. And that's like, damn, like, that's all I got to do. Like, okay, I got to take a couple of notes. Like, it's cool, <laughs> you know? But then, like, that, like I said, I could, I'm taking that, um, that, like, ratio of rejection to acceptance. 
um, and not only figuring out, not, it's not manipulating, but figuring out how to help people understand that I'm actually trying to help them out. Feel me? Just figuring that part out, like figuring out how to like let somebody know, like, yo, I'm actually not like, I'm not even trying to sell you something. I'm actually have something that you probably could could be uh, beneficial to you. Let me see if it is, you know. Who the fuck am I? I've been doing the shit I'm uh, talking about. Nah, talking shit. That's, <laughs> that's like the revelation right there. The journey, the process. Fuck you. Yeah. Nah, I think I'm actually. I think I'm I literally. I'm sitting here thinking it through now. Like, like yeah, I'm actually. I'm not selling you something. Like I'm. I'm trying to help you out. Dog. <laughs> and even if I was selling you something, it's something that if I wouldn't try to sell it to you if I didn't think it could benefit you. You know. Like, I'm not going to sell somebody something that wouldn't benefit them. And especially in my job, I'm literally not allowed to, like, legally. Um, so, it's dope. Tell it dope. Tell it dope. Damn, you just had thoughts on wax right there. That's, that's, I, that just, just came out of nowhere, bro. <laughs> that's, the best. that's why we do this shit. Get your brain. Yeah. You dump your brain on the, the new idea on the fucking scene. Mm-hmm. That's fucking amazing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's fucking go. I'm excited. I'm excited for the for the 2022s. I mean, I've been excited all year, but I didn't know. I didn't know the year was gonna end like this, and it's it's been good. Yeah, I'm so it's excited good. too. I'm yeah, dog. And Let's I got go. hair. I can do the shit with too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, anybody watching this shit? I was gonna keep it a surprise uh, for anybody watching back home. Uh, I'm coming home for the holidays, so you motherfuckers better be ready. Be ready to see Ozzy. I'm bringing the girl too, so y'all better be ready. Oh, That's only gonna be a couple days, but well. yes. Albums use. Well, on that note, well, I think we'll end it. Anyway, you can follow me at Dom Jackson 747. <laughs> Dom Jackson 747. It's a new Instagram. Because I'm fly. Oh, yes. Because I'm fly. Fly as fuck. <laughs> 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 you, can follow, you can follow me at, um, damn. Probably too many. Actually, you know what? Let's let's keep it let's keep it short. You can follow me at OAMJR on uh all platforms and Ozzy Loans on all platforms if you wanna um, you know, refinance or purchase a property in the state of California, Florida, Texas, Illinois, or if you happen to be in Iowa with the cows Damn. and the farms. The corn, or is that Ohio? Huh? Who has the corn? Is it they probably got they probably got corn. We got corn here too, bro. Don't don't disrespect. Or like cornfields where it's just like nothing but cornfields. Yeah. Cornfields and cows. Yeah, cornfields and cows. It's probably Iowa. See, now nah, I'm not going to get no loans from Iowa because you're going to be like, yo, oh, he, sorry. you know. Wait, sorry, Iowa. Dis- no, I did it too. That's all right. Yeah, no, no, yo, no, no disrespect to Iowa. I know it's not just sticks out there. They got a whole ass fucking state. <laughs> Bigger than Jersey, that's for sure. Oh, uh, anyways, yeah, follow me on Aussie Loans if you want to find out about any of that finance, refinance shit. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for watching. And uh, take care. See you next time. <laughs>